I guess I'm just wondering, Mr. Attorney General, has anyone at the department told President Biden to knock it off with Hunter? I mean, you guys are charging Hunter Biden on some crimes, investigating him on, on others. You've got the president bringing Hunter Biden around to state dinners. Has anyone told him to knock it off? Our job in the Justice Department is to pursue our cases without reference uh, to what's happening in the outside world. But just yes or no, have you and done that? That is what we do. So it's a no? No one that I know of has spoken to the White House about the Hunter Biden case. I'm wondering of course that, not. okay, I got it, I got it. So Hunter Biden is selling art to pay for his $15,000 a month rent in Malibu. How can you guarantee that the people buying that art aren't doing so to gain favor with the president? The job of the Justice Department is to investigate criminal allegations. You have information. Are you investigating this? I mean, someone who bought Hunter Biden's art ended up with a prestigious appointment to a federal position. Doesn't it look weird that he's, making, he's become this immediate success in the art world as his dad is president of the United States? Isn't that odd? I'm not going to comment about any specific Not going to comment, not going to investigate. So right. Hunter Biden associate Devin Archer told us that Hunter sold the appearance of access to then Vice President Biden. Are you confident he has stopped doing that? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. Hunter Biden associate Devin Archer told us that Hunter sold the appearance of access to then Vice President Biden. Yes. Are you confident he has stopped? I'm going to say again that all these matters are within the purview of Mr. Weiss. I have not interfered with them, and yeah, I do not. Yeah, but if you were confident that he had stopped, you could And I do not intend to us. interfere with him. I want to, so it was a lot of Chinese money that was working its way through these shell companies into the accounts of the Biden family. So the China initiative was set up during the Trump administration at the Department of Justice to go after the malign influence of, of the Chinese Communist Party. And the Biden Justice Department dissolved the China initiative. So I guess I'm wondering, does the department have any documents uh, that would detail the basis for why you got rid of the China initiative that President Trump had set up? The Assistant Attorney General for the National Security Division gave a long speech which explained that. He has testified before Congress several times. We'd be happy to provide you with- What's the, the basis? Just tell us all now. What, why, why was the China initiative dissolved? What, uh, uh, the, what the Assistant Attorney General said was that we face attacks from four nation states, North Korea, China, Russia, and Iran, and that we need to focus our attention on the broad range of these attacks. Sometimes we but, don't but, but wait know. Wait a second. You don't, are you saying that North Korea has the same malign influence risk to the United States as the Chinese Communist Party? Are you, are you trying to represent there's some parity there? Because cause here's what it looks like. It looks like the Chinese gave all this money to the Bidens, and then you guys came in and got rid of the China initiative, and it was successful. Like, I, I saw one rationale that you guys got rid of the China initiative because it was racial profiling. But, but one of the people you convicted was a guy named Charles Lieber, who was a Harvard professor taking $50,000 a month to do China's bidding and give them whatever research was being done. Are, are you aware of the millions of dollars that moved through Rob Walker's shell companies from Chinese Communist Party entities into Biden family bank accounts? Are you aware of that? There were a lot of questions that you just asked. Let me start with the first one about North Korea. North Korea is a dangerous actor, both kinetically and with respect to cyber. But not on par with China. I'm on I'm the not, armed services I'm not committee, in the business Mr. Attorney right General. Now it's, okay, it's, it I, makes I, you look I, unserious to suggest may that. May I answer your question or not? Answer the question about whether or not you know about all the millions of dollars that so moved you don't to want Rob me to answer into. about North Korea? I already know the answer, and so does everyone. They're not the same risk as China. So let's get on to serious questions and serious answers. Do you know about the money that moved through Rob Walker's shell companies, yes or no? As I have said repeatedly, I have left ma these matters to Mr. Weiss. I've not Blissfully intruded, ignorant. I've not interfered, I've not tried to, to find out it's what like he knows. It's like you're looking the other way on purpose it's because everybody knows this stuff's happening. And you know what, people don't pay bribes to not get something in return. People don't pay bribes to not get something in return. If you wanna know why the establishment is going berserk over Matt Gates, I just showed you why. If you wanna know why they're, go <laughs> they're going nuts, this questioning tells you everything you need to know. This is the last guy the establishment wants 
at the Department of Justice. And this is just my guess. I've actually never worked at the DOJ. <laughs> what do I know? But I do know this. All those cases, all those uh, case files, they remain the property of the United States. So once Matt Gates walks into that building, he has access to everything he's questioning about Gar he's questioning Garland about right now. Well, what do you think he's going to find? <laughs> what do you think he's going to come up with? No, that's the reason they don't want this guy at the DOJ. You need someone that's establishment. You need someone older. You need someone you can control. You need someone like Merrick Garland. You need someone who has an ax to grind. For those of you who don't know, he was not confirmed to sit on the Supreme Court. And if you think that he is not holding on to that, <laughs> you don't know human nature, okay? He has been doing the bidding of the Biden administration. Right. We, the, the China initiative resulted in the convictions of a Harvard professor, of someone at Monsanto. So we were working against the Chinese. They paid the Bidens. And now we're, now you're sitting here telling me that I'm, North Korea is the big threat. I'm I got to get to this one thing on January well, 6th. I, I, so did the FBI, did the FBI lose count of the number of paid informants on January 6th? Let me did answer you? your question about China. That's another issue. January 6th. Look. All of these documents, I can, okay, it wouldn't surprise me. And by the way, it would be illegal that all of a sudden, as the Trump administration is moving in, that there is a billowing cloud of smoke coming from all of these buildings all over all over Washington, D.C., burning documents. Because the last thing you want, the last thing they want is somebody that doesn't give a crap about your establishment. They can't have that. And see, once you are a swamp rat, you are always a swamp rat. And since Tulsi Gabbard wouldn't play ball was well, her head is on the chopping block as well. You can't give her any positions of authority as well. Look at this from Newsweek. John Bolton urges FBI to probe Tulsi Gabbard, Matt Gates, serious threat. Now, it, knowing nothing. You, you, you don't know anything. All you did, you read a headline. What strikes you as odd about that headline? John Bolton urges FBI to probe Tulsi Gabbard, Matt Gates, serious threat. Um, did they commit a crime? There's no mention of a crime. Did they commit a crime? Or are they a threat to the machine? So I'm, I, you can't look at this through the lens of red, blue, Republican, Democrat. You got to look at it through the lens of establishment, anti-establishment. They're not going to like RFK Jr. They're not going to like Tulsi Gabbard. They're, they're not going to like any appointments that Donald Trump has been moving through. These people are more in tune with power than working for you, the American people. John Bolton has argued Representative Matt Gates and Tulsi Gabbard 
Donald Trump's nominee for attorney general and director of national intelligence, respectively, should undergo full, quote, full field FBI investigations. Investigate him for what? Investigate him for what, John? And what, what, what crime are you alleging? Did, did, did Tulsi commit a crime? Did Matt's commit a crime? I'm, and by the way, no one's going to call him on that. But they are right now in the open telling you what they use these agencies for to go after their political opponents. He's telling you point blank, respectively, should go under, quote, full field FBI investigations before their Senate confirmation hearing takes place. They're telling you what they use these agencies for. He's doing it. It's like, it's kind of like, you would think that someone would stop him and say, John, 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 stop talking. You look guilty. You look like you're, you're someone that's hiding something. And when you come out against Matt Gates, everyone who voted for Donald Trump now wants Matt Gates because you look crooked. Now, for those of you who don't know who John Bolton is, is an American attorney, diplomat, Republican consultant, and political commentator. He served as the 25th United States ambassador to the United Nations from 205 to 206 and as the 26th United States national security, security advisor under Donald Trump. Bolton served as the United States assistant attorney general for President Ronald Reagan. Bolton served as a United States assistant attorney, attorney general for President Ronald Reagan. What, what jumps out at you when you hear that? Wow, hold on a second. Ron, Ronald Reagan, how many, how many administrations does that go back? Yeah. Exactly. He is what's known as a swamp creature. This, I, he served in the State Department as an assistant uh, secretary of state and international organization of affairs from 89 and 93 and undersecretary of state for arms control and international security of affairs for from 201 to 205 he was an advocate he was an advocate of the Iraq, the Iraq war was director of project for a new american century which favored going to war with iraq he's a war hawk he's never seen a a, a confrontation that he didn't want to turn into a full-blown war. And Donald Trump hired him. Why? Only God knows. I, I think like some people say that, well, he, he, he hired him because he thought that that would make his enemies, you know, Russia and all, and, and all the others, Iran and whatever, that they would be like, oh, Oh my God, John Bolton, run for the hills. The only thing is John Bolton is only loyal to the machine. Not the direction of the president of the United States. You want to know why Tulsi Gabbard being, I gotta tell you, 
head, the director of national intelligence. I had to tell you that. So you guys got to remember recently the surveillance state started following her. They started following her on planes, sending her through all of these hoops before she could ever board a plane. And after she got off the plane and, and you know, queer, querying her husband and her, and it is like ridiculous. Like, what do you base this on? Well, see, that's how the machine works. If they don't like you for whatever reason, they use their badge to abuse you. It's unbelievable, man. It really is. The comments were made by Bolton, who served as Trump's national advisor. I already said that. On Wednesday, Trump revealed he had selected Florida Representative Gates and Gabbard, formerly a Democratic House representative for Hawaii, as his candidate to be Attorney General and National Intelligence Director. From 2013 to 2016, Gabbard served as vice chair of the Democratic National Committee. She was a star in the Democratic Party. Let me read that for you again. From 2013 to 2016, Gabbard served as vice chair of the Democratic National Committee. She was a superstar. She was military bright, articulate, a woman of color, and she was their ace in the hole. Unfortunately for the machine, she had scruples. Unfortunately for the machine, she actually adheres to the law. Unfortunately, Fortunately, she's not win willing to bend a knee to the establishment. Before running for the party's presidential nomination, yeah, so I she ran for president, for those of you who don't know, all right? They 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 hate Tulsi Gabbard, they hate Matt Gates, uh Matt Gates and 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 I'm showing you why. And when Donald Trump is picking these people, this is this is mega on steroids. You just watched Matt Gates pressing Merrick Garland on why you are not investigating the corruption that is staring you in the face from the Bidens. Oh, I, I don't know. He became a, an artist and all of a sudden he, he becomes famous because he's the president of the United States son. And, 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 and all of a sudden a person that actually bought a piece of his art just happened to get a federal appointment. And it had nothing to do with paying off the Bidens. This is why they don't want him. It has nothing to do with ethics. It has nothing to do with experience. Oh, he doesn't have experience. It's like, I don't care about that because something tells me he can learn the job. I've seen one attorney, seen them all. I'm going to let that one go. Tulsi Gabbard, head of national security. I mean, that is a major middle finger to the CIA, the FBI, the CDC. Like, I mean, it is a major finger, middle finger to all of them. Like tr Donald Trump is pulling, uh, here's the thing. I don't know that they're gonna be, you know, confirmed or not. I know that they're, you, uh, here's the thing though. See, that's why the popular vote was so important. If there is one Republican on, on that Senate floor that would not confirm Matt Gates, you you are going to be you are going to be remembered. You will be remembered. The people wanted 
Donald Trump and his agenda, not yours. You go after Tulsi, not going to confirm her. You go after Gates, you're not going to confirm. That will be remembered. You senators that won't confirm him. Now, somebody wanted that because I, I, I guarantee you, I can always, I can already hear you guys. Stu, he, Matt Gates was under investigation, and and the only reason he he quit is because of the investigation. Because now that he quit the Congress, the, the investigation is over. It's like they've been trumping up charges against Matt Gates ever since. He ousted the speaker. Okay. They, they've been going nuts. They, 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 just understand this. The same people that are going after Matt Gates, that's like the same kind of, I don't know, cauldron of witches that are going after Donald Trump. For any and any reason they can get. All right, I've gone too long on this. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.